Hey guys, Carlo here. Welcome to the vlog. This is the channel where we talk about sneakers, life, and tech. Now, I usually get asked, Carlo, why do you just keep on reviewing Adidas, Nike, and Off-White sneakers? Sometimes you do Off-Balance, sometimes you do Puma, but you rarely do Reebok. So today, that's what I want to do. I want to cross that off the list by talking about my favorite sneakers from Reebok. This is my review of the Reebok Classic Leather Altered Icons. Let's go. If you guys haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please make sure that you do so because we have ongoing giveaways. We're actually giving away a Supreme BOGO sweatshirt. We're also giving away gift certificates to Soul Academy. All you guys have to do is subscribe to the channel, follow me on Instagram, hit the notification bell, and then click the individual links to the giveaways down below. This is what the classic leather OG, or at least one of the original colorways, look like. It is timeless, it is easy to wear, it is easy to style, because at the end of the day, guys, it is a black leather shoe with a gum sole. However, as you guys know, the current style these days is more on color, more on retro, more on that deconstructed vibe and multiple layers of materials on the upper of the shoe. And that's what Reebok came out with with the Alter the Icon series. They basically took a look at some of their classic silhouettes and then updated them to the style and design of today's current trend, which is all about loud colors, again, and different materials to be able to make it a little more fashion forward. So today we have the classic leather, well, I don't know if you should call it like reconstructed, but maybe reimagined, uh, al re-altered, that's probably the best way to do it, uh, for today's generation. So what changed? First, it's really about the style. If you take a look at the upper, obviously the color is different. You have different shades of color. You have the whites, the grays, you have the blacks and the whites, you have the blues over here. So you have that vibe which isn't one dimensional. And if you take a look at the materials, you have suede, you have mesh, you have leather, you have some sort of like woven cloth material here along the lateral and the medial side. And you have that suede patch at the back on top of the leather, on top of the mesh, which just makes it go really, really, you know, at least in my opinion, looks really nice. If you move down to the midsole, it's still your same EVA foam with hints of red and and blue and then you have that super familiar gum sole that we've all come to love with the Reebok Classic Leather. In terms of the style and design, it's actually inspired by the Reebok Aztrek, one of their newest silhouettes, which is a chunky dad sneaker. How is it on feet? The great thing about this particular sneaker is that they were able to address a lot of the issues that they had with the classic leather silhouette, which was really, it wasn't the most comfortable shoe because the leather didn't have too much give despite me beating it up for a couple of, well, months already. So the leather is still kind of stiff, which is kind of puzzling because I always felt that leather would give over time. But anyway, the great thing about this one is that the upper has that mix of leather mesh, uh, I think some sort of nylon material and suede, which allows for the upper to be more breathable, to be more flexible, and to be easily wearable compared to the classic black leather that I showed you guys earlier. As for the midsole, if you compare it to today's sneakers, performance sneakers especially, that bring in the latest technology such as Boost, such as React, uh, such as Hover from Under Armour, to be honest, it's not on the same level because it's not really as comfortable, but it does give you that solid feel that you would want typically in stable sneakers. So the big question now is, do I recommend the Reebok Alter the Icons Classic Leather? If you ask me, it's a big yes for several reasons. Number one, uh, it's really about being a little more different today because a lot of people usually wear a lot of Adidas and Nike sneakers and Jordan sneakers and a lot of hype sneakers. So going counterculture a bit and picking like an underdog brand and picking a sneaker that's not necessarily overly severely mainstream uh, and hype is something that I feel is always a good thing. Number two is the price point because this one just sells for less than 5,000 pesos, comes in multiple designs and colorways which makes it a great bang for your buck daily sneaker for under a hundred dollars i was able to buy the reebok altered icons from our good friend soul academy i dropped by my favorite branch which is their branch over at vgc so if you guys are interested in checking out any of the reebok classic icon sneakers or classic altered icon sneakers check them out some of them are on display over at soul academy vgc you can also check out reebok in Glorietta. And for our power up words of wisdom for the day, if there's one thing that you should never be selfish about, it's compliments and good words. So the challenge for you guys today, find somebody to compliment, find somebody within your immediate circle 
to say something nice about. Make them feel good, make them feel appreciated because life is limited and it would be good to go out knowing that a lot of people, you were able to touch a lot of people's lives. So again, one thing you should never be selfish about, compliments. With that said, peace, God bless, what's up? Boom.